Hey guys, it's me, Lace, and Johnny Time here with Rich Nyman over at the uh, Bug Collectors Club. And uh, you know, as you see, I'm over at Tops Tackery. He just picked up the Puma Tackery over at Tops Knives. Rich is also from Idaho, and I tell you, man, he's a really interesting guy. I met him here at the 2011 Blade Show. He wrote a book. Here's a hardcover of his Puma Master Knives, man. It's the authorized history of the models from 184 and 185, man. It's beautiful. Tough He's got him signed by CJ Buck and everyone, man. This is the hard, co uh, hard cover version of it. He's got soft cover version of it as well. And I'll tell you, this is a hardcore book. He gave me a copy of it. I love it. It's the only book, uh, book on Buck history. And I'm going to let Rich tell you more about it because it's his book. So go ahead, Rich. All right. Well, first of all, I bought one at Johnny's Knives over at Tops. And Tops is a Idaho company. And we like to support all the Idaho companies. And uh, it's a wonderful life. And I look forward to watching the video and uh, hanging out with Johnny and more. Uh, what I wrote is a book on the Buck Master Knives. Uh, it's an actual uh, Johnny, I should be talking to you to send the camera right. Oh, all right. They won't oh, all right. Uh, it's actually really instilled in the Navy SEAL teams. Uh, it was designed to replace the K-Bar knife. What I have over here is uh, these are the actual prototypes of the SEAL team knives. Uh, this one is the very first generation, and that was all done by Frobus. Now, Frobus is famous because you see the Frobus on the M9 bayonet, uh, the, the Frobus Dolphin. In my book, I actually have the uh, history of where that dolphin came from. It was from a, a Navy SEAL commander uh, he didn't like using the F word, so instead of using the F word, he said Frobus. So they thought, hey, you know, what would be better is to do a dolphin, make a dolphin, and, uh, hi guys, and uh, uh, put that Frobus on it. Well, what happened is the, the Navy SEALs actually ordered, it was SEAL Team 3 who uh, was looking at these, and uh, SEAL Team uh, uh, 6 didn't want to be outdone by SEAL Team 3. This is, again, back in the 80s. This is an actual SEAL Team 6 modular set. Now, SEAL Team 6, what they wanted was different size blades, and the reason they wanted that is to be modular, so different missions require different uh, things. And uh, they ended up getting a hold of Buck Knives, and uh, Harry Camphausen, who invented all these sheets here, uh, Harry Camphausen, who invented all these sheets here, uh, uh, he got a hold of Buck Knives and CJ Bucks fresh out of college. And uh, he said, hey, Mr. Buck, we want to order 2,500 knives. Well, long story short, the Navy SEALs ended up ordering 2,500 knives. Well, with military red tape and everything, one week became, two weeks became three weeks. Well, before you know it, uh, uh, Mr. Buck begged his dad, hey, can I uh, just make them for the public? Because the SEAL teams are right. Son of a gun, between uh, the last two months of the 80s, uh, in, in uh, 1984, uh, uh, November and December, through the whole year of 1985, uh, 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 Buck sold 57,000 of these knives. I have to tell you, man, I was, I was over by Buck Food talking to Chuck Buck about this, and he's like, yeah, 24 years ago, 25 years ago, he's working on the knife. It's probably the most famous knife I've ever heard of. It's the Rambo knife. From the yeah, yeah. It was all yeah. based on that. And all and the guys... I didn't know that it was the uh, Buckmaster knife. And I learned something new today by meeting Rich. I'll tell you, I, I was flipping through the book and reading the plane on the way home. It's a great book. I want to thank you for bringing the history out of the book. Yeah. If you guys want to know more about the book here, just by Rich, simply visit your website, which is... Uh, it's uh, www.thebuckmasterbook.com and we also started a forum that all these guys that helped create these knives, including the old Frobus guys, they're visiting this forum, forum and Mr. Buck, so uh, we're trying to get some stuff going. Right. www.thebuckmasterbook.com Great, man. It's Grace and Johnny Ty. You guys have a safe day. Stay alive. Enjoy the weather. Thank you.